Welcome back to the channel guys. You're gonna get the back nine here at Granite Hills, the hardest course in Manitoba. I shot two over on the front nine, hit the ball like garbage. Putter is red hot, it saved me. So let's keep the putter red hot. Maybe I can figure the swing out. We can go low and get this back to par. The back nine is 3,500 yards. The front, the whole course is 7,100 yards. Again, the course rating is 75. So I'm scratching, should shoot three over, but the goal is to shoot par. So we gotta have a really good back nine. Let's go. Ten here, back nine. Two over on the front. I want to par better here. I gotta go two under here on the back. Starting off the big par five, 580 yards. Pretty straight away. Very very tight. So just hit a good drive. Keep it in play. Gonna be on the edge. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna play something stupid. I gotta try to keep it below these these tree branches. As you can see, it's only like five, four and a half feet off the ground. So, big three wood cut, a little bullet, get up there as far as I can. I heard it land soft. Okay. All right, so just short of the green here, so I had a really good shot out of the trees. Actually, like super pumped about this. So I got a good chance here to get up and down, start with the bird. 35, 40 yards here. Got to get it back to the flag because it's on a ridge, so. Come back down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep coming. All right. I don't know, eight, eight footer here. Gonna go left edge, downhill. Let's roll it in, start, for, start off with the bird. Stay up. All right, 432 yards, par four, 11 pole here at Granite Hills. Slight dog leg to the right. I'm gonna take it over the right edge of the fairway. There's a little bit of a flat mound. Just take over that, hit the draw. Let's get down there as hard as we can. Cut again. Should be fine. All right, we got 172 here in the rough. Uphill into a little bit of a breeze. So I'm gonna play like 185, I'm gonna hit six iron. Lots of room behind the pin. Pulled it again, just like that two iron. Ooh, stay there. Pin high, just right of the green. Oh yeah, she's sitting up nice. Okay, so pin's in a little bowl here at the front, so I got two two ways that I can play this. I can go way up with it, land it soft in the bowl, or play it short and just kind of let it trickle down. So it's probably gonna be like a mid swing call. All right, let's hold this for par. Yeah, 
Give it an effort. Whoa! <laughs> All right, guys. If you guys are liking this so far, I'm one over on the back nine, three over overall. So the goal, I got to go three under here in the last seven holes to hit the goal on this series. Hit that subscribe button if you like this so far. Hit that like, comment, share it with your friends. 186 downhill. Yeah, probably the club, eh? Yeah. Maybe just a little, little off it. 180. Let's say seven. 187. Six iron. Let's make a deuce. Be the number, please. Please. Oh, don't spin off. Damn it, that was too good of a shot to do that. No, that was too good of a shot. Get that wild. Spun back like 70 feet. What can you do? Hey, good swing. Holy f. Absolutely destroyed that green. Don't even need to really fix it. It wasn't there. I think it's gonna go a little to the left. Oh, shrapnel. Uphill, I think it's gonna go a little bit to the left. Oh, 25 footer. I need one of these already in the front nine. Let's make another one on the back. Well, if it didn't hit the hole, it's probably like 10 feet by, so. Oh, man. Shitty. You guys are gonna see that tracer and be like, why'd you drop that club? But I hit that right off the toe and it's almost like a duck hook, even though it's just off the fairway. Alright, go 170. I can't really see the flag from where I am. It's gonna seven iron. Let's hit a good one. Let's hit a good truck. Should go a little bit left, kind of off this slope. So take it right over the edge of the rocks and probably should fade into the hole. Nice shot. Feet, just pick it up. All right, got three feet. Should go a little bit to the right, just left edge. Let's funnel it in there. That breaks a lot. Don't overthink it. All right, guys, there you have it. A little tap in bird to get the back nine going here. Back to even par. So, even on the back nine, two over overall. I got to go two under here in the last five holes. So we got 14 here coming up, really elevated tee box. You can't see the landing area. Uh, 375 yard par four. Just don't know if I, I don't know if drivers will play, but they can't really see it. So I might just actually hit something less to keep in the middle. Oh, did a really good three wood right down the middle. One of my better swings here off the tee in the back nine. So, got 99 yards in. We've got a sand wedge, 54 degree. Let's put something tight here. Need a bird. Let's get under par here. Let's give us a chance to get back to par. Let's go. Alright, so these greens are super receptive and that thing absolutely ripped like right away. We're at 18 feet here, just off the fringe. I'm thinking it's gonna go a little bit to the left. I don't know how much, but maybe right edge. 
Big good stroke. Back to back, baby, let's go! Woo! One under on the back. We gotta get another one. Come on, we're one shot away from hitting that goal. Let's go. I don't need them, but I don't put them in his chips. They go in as like, they go in as a hole. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a putt. It's not a putt and it's not a chip for me. I go, it's like a, fa it's a phantom. What if you hit like a 50 yard putt in off the green and we're playing late stuff? Yeah. Hold up. Hold up, I guess. Yeah, man. It's still a hole up. Yeah. Zero putts on that ball with the bird. Back to back birds start to heat up here. Let's go. We need to go. We need one more birdie here in the last four holes. And according to the starter, the last four holes the most scorable thing in the course. So let's go. All right, so back to back birds. We got a really cool par five here. 527, little dog leg right. Got the lake in the background. Looks beautiful. I'm going to aim at the 150 stake. Hopefully hit a draw off it. Let's go. Stay in the fairway. Stay in the fairway. Yeah, we're good. Oh boy. We're good. That's in the trees. Now let's get a lucky bounce. I know this bush is pretty thick. Can we get a lucky bounce? Like All right, so I had to take a little unplayable out of the bush. So we're short sided here, hitting four now. Let's just hold this out. This be a cool birdie with a drop. Yeah, let's hold it out. Par. This would be a huge par save. Huge par save. It's gonna go a little bit right. Oh, that's a big putt. Come on, we saved it. We're still one. We need one birdie. Let's go. All right, so three, 366, I think. 360, 366, something like that. Little dog leg left water all left. You're gonna see this in a second. Um, it's like a 320 carry right to the green, so if you can carry it 320, you can possibly get there. I don't want to risk it. I want to make it, want to play the next three holes one under so I can hit the goal. So I'm going to kind of take over the right edge of the water. Hopefully, just hit a draw. Be perfect. three and hopefully we can get up and down from here and save par and keep it alive for the last two holes here. All right, 117 here after the drop. So two drops, two holes, we're gonna make par. So we gotta get up and down here, stick a dart. Let's make it easy. I got a chance at par still, let's go. Honestly though guys, like, I know Manitoba gets a bad rap, but like, look at what you get out here. Like I remember going boating when I was younger, camping and stuff, like nothing beats being on a lake, like getting on a tube, skiing, whatever you do. Like this is, this is cottage country. This is unreal. Yeah, I can agree. Super underrated. There's some hidden gems in Toba. Uphill, I think it's pretty, pretty uphill. It's gonna go a little bit to the right. 
Manitobans need to learn how to fix ball marks, so I gotta tell you that. Worst place on earth I've ever seen. Okay, little uphill going to the left. Let's knock it in. That is so big. Let's go. Putter is back to being red hot. Let's go, baby. Okay, you. All right, guys, those are two massive, massive par saves. A couple big clutch putts. Uh, yes, we're one under still in the back and one over overall. So I got a birdie one in the last two here. 176, par three. I got a 700 hand that's sticking dark. Make it short. Such a cool course. Yeah, it's short. Just blocked it. Let's chip it in. Alright, so pretty straightforward chip here. I love these chips when you're kind of like eye level with the green. It just suits me. I can read the green perfectly. So a little bit left of the flag should release down the slope towards the hole. Just gotta hit the landing spot about six, seven feet short of the hole and just let it funnel in. Let's go. Need it? All right, little three foot tester. Let's knock it in. Let's keep the birdie alive on 18. This is a big three footer. Need a birdie on 18, let's go. Is it a par five coming home? Par four, 425. Okay. Talk about your most uncomfortable tee shots. Yeah, blind one with water left. Can't remember if this was driver. Three, three would have given me the 170, 150 or 170. Yeah. I'm not really hitting the driver, particularly with wells. We need a birdie on the 18th hole here at Granite Hills to hit the goal. If you guys have made it this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that like. It helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. We need a birdie. This tee shot's going to either make or break this hole. We got the whole lake left, bush right, blind tee shot. And I'm gonna try to hit a cut for the first time today just because it looks like it should I should hit a cut. If I find the fairway, I'm burning this hole. Come on, keep coming. Might be okay. Alright guys, so we found it right here on the rocks here at Granite Hills. 135 and try to stick it and make her. I actually don't even know the line. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> Athlete <laughs> comes to Granite Hills just to play on the rocks, eh? <laughs> I thought I had it. I was like starting to slip. I'm like, nah, you just gotta go. Yeah. Okay, it did. It did creep up. I hit that green. Yeah. Look nice. at that. Forty-five feet. Bird, and it's definitely gonna go to the right up the hill. Shit all over me. I thought I was an athlete. It should be big. Two massive par saves. Three, really, that up and down on 17. Two, three massive par saves last three holes. Two birdies. Could easily probably have been four under if I didn't take drops. Luckily, found this ball. 45 footer. Hit the goal, let's go.
It's a good effort. Oh. You know what guys? I battled pretty hard through it. Hey, one over here and our course rating is 75. Tough, tough golf course. I'm really happy with the one over 73. If you guys like this, hit that subscribe button, smash that like, comment, share. We got more of this stuff coming up. You guys are gonna get some golf courses out of Kimberly Cranbrook coming up next, Shadow Mountain, Wildstone, and I'm teaming up with Malozzi Golf, so let's go.